Can you name this song? Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman. Roy Orbison spent three weeks at the top of the US charts in 1964 with Oh Pretty Woman. And in today's quiz, we will go through the next 60 years of songs that made it to number one on the US Billboard Hot 100. We will begin in 1965, all the way up to 2024, and all you need to do is guess each song and artist. Before we begin with the quiz, don't forget to like and subscribe for a bonus point. Good luck! Come in late at night and in the morning We begin with the Beach Boys who topped the charts for two weeks in 1965 with Help Me Rhonda. How can you tell me how much you missed me? To the post side of town. Poor Side of Town was the only US number one for Johnny Rivers. The Association got their second number one with Windy, a song that topped the charts for four weeks. There and crying over some sad and silly late late show. And honey, I miss you. And Bobby Goldsborough spent five weeks at number one in 1968 with Honey. I met a Honky Tonk Woman by the Rolling Stones was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2014. Want some whiskey in your water, sugar in your tea. I'm not told in that cup. I'm not told in that cup. Written by Randy Newman and first released by Eric Burden in 1966, it's Three Dog Night who topped the charts with Mama Told Me Not To Come in 1970. I roller skated to your door at daylight. Well, I got a brand new pair of roller skates, you got a brand Melanie got to number one at the very end of 1971 with Brand New Key, which many people seem to refer to as the roller skate song. Gilbert O'Sullivan topped the charts for four weeks in 1972 with Alone Again Naturally. You are here, the to that I've seen. I'm on the top of the world again, down on creation. The Carpenters included Top of the World on the album A Song for You.
George McRae also topped 10 other countries with his 1974 hit, Rock Your Baby. There have been many versions of You're No Good since Dee Dee Warwick's first recording in 1963, but it's Linda Ronstadt who got to number one with the song in 1975. Former Love and Spoonful member John Sebastian got to number one with Welcome Back, which was a theme song to the show Welcome Back Cotter. The Emotion spent four weeks at number one in 1977 with Best of My Love. Night Fever spent eight weeks at the top of the charts for the Bee Gees. Reunited also topped the Canadian and Spanish charts for the duo of Peaches and Herb. Into the 80s now, and Olivia Newton-John's Magic was on the soundtrack to the musical fantasy film, Xanadu. Showers washed all my cares away I wake up to a sunny day Eddie Rabbit also topped the adult, contemporary and hot country songs charts with I Love A Rainy Night. Chicago's second number one hit was Hard to Say I'm Sorry in 1982. Tell Her About It spent a week at number one and was included on Billy Joel's album An Innocent Man. Owner of a Lonely Heart by Yes was a top 10 hit around the world, but it was only the US where it got to the number one spot. Everything She Wants in 1985 became the third number one hit for Wham! Human, 
Human League's 1986 album, Crash, included number one hit, Human. Bob Seger's Shakedown was on the soundtrack to Beverly Hills Cop 2. Steve Winwood spent four weeks at number one in 1988 with Roll With It. Straight Up was the first number one hit for Paula Abdul. Into the 90s now with New Kids on the Block's best-selling single, Step by Step. Coming Out of the Dark was Gloria Estefan's third US number one. Boyz II Men spent 13 weeks at number one in 1992 with End of the Road. Janet Jackson's That's The Way Love Goes spent eight weeks at number one, the longest of any of the Jackson songs to top the charts. Ace of Base also top charts in eight other countries with the sign. TLC's first US number one creep was included on the album Crazy Sexy Cool. Because You Loved Me spent six weeks at number one for Celine Dion. Wannabe was the only US number one for the Spice Girls.
Australian duo Savage Garden topped the charts in 1998 with Truly Madly Deeply. What do I gotta do to get you in my arms, Brandy's Have You Ever also got to number one in New Zealand. With arms wide open was the only US number one for Creed as we step into the 21st century. Mary J. Blige stayed at number one for six weeks in 2001 with Family Affair. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. Eminem's Lose Yourself spent 12 weeks at number one, although only eight of those were actually in 2002. 50 Cent topped the charts for nine weeks with Inda Club. Usher also got to number one in the UK, New Zealand and Australia with Burn. Let Me Love You by Mario remained number one for nine weeks in 2005. London Bridge was part of Fergie's debut solo album, The Duchess. Makes Me Wonder by Maroon 5 won the Grammy Award for Best Pop Performance by a Duo or Group. Touch My Body was the lead single of Mariah Carey's 2008 album, E equals MC Squared. I'm a beast when you turn me on. Into the future, Cybertron. Harder, faster, better, stronger. Sexy ladies, extra long. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Boom Boom Pow by the Black Eyed Peas was the best performing single of 2009. 
Rude Boy in 2010 was Rihanna's sixth US number one. Britney Spears also topped multiple charts outside of the US in 2011 with Hold It Against Me. Bruno Mars got to number one at the very end of 2012 with Locked Out of Heaven. Chained our hearts in vain, we jumped never. Wrecking Ball was Miley Cyrus's first US number one. My head's underwater, but I'm breathing fine. All of Me was on John Legend's album, Love in the Future. But at least we'll both be beautiful and stay forever young, this I know. The weekend's Can't Feel My Face got diamond certification in the US after selling over 10 million copies. Pillow Talk was a debut solo single by former One Direction member, Zayn. Louis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee spent 16 weeks at number one with Despacito. Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside. But the new me is really still the real me. I swear you gotta feel me before they try and kill me. They gotta In My Feelings was one of three songs that contributed towards Drake spending a total of 29 weeks on top of the US charts in 2018. Put you first and you adored it So fast in my forest I needed to lose you to love me yeah. to love, love. Lose You To Love Me was the first US number one for Selena Gomez Life Goes On was the third US number one for South Korean boy band BTS. Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber top charts in at least 21 other countries with Stay. Bite my tongue, it's a bad 
Steve Lacey's Bad Habit topped the Billboard Hot 100 as well as four different genre charts in the US. Is it over now? Was Taylor Swift's 11th US number one? I think I'll take my whiskey and leave. You're too sweet for me. I take my whiskey. And we end this American music with, with Irish singer Hosier and Too Sweet. So that's the end of this 60 Years of Songs US Number 1's music quiz. Let me know in the comments which decade you found easiest and which one you found the most difficult. Whilst you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe for that bonus point. Thank you very much for playing along, and I'll see you again soon for another squiz.